Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Here is a question from previous test paper on infinite series. The question is, the seventh term of a geometric series is 108 and the eighth term is 36. Find the number of terms whose sum is 118080. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Let me also give you the formulas which we may be required to solve this question. Uh, one of them, it's a geometric series, is that the nth term t of n equals to a times r to the power of n minus 1 and then we have sum of terms we're talking about. So sum of terms for a geometric series is, uh, let me write down here, s of n equals to a times 1 minus r to the power of n divided by 1 minus r. So you may use these formulas to solve the question. Calculator is also permitted to solve this question. So let's go through this question once again. Seventh term of a geometric series is 108 and the eighth term is 36. So clearly the ratio r will be equals to eighth term divided by seventh term, correct? And so, you know, uh, eighth term is 36, seventh term is 108. Uh, we can simplify this. 36 times 3 is 108. Uh, you could do it in steps also. So we get one, 1 over 3 as r. At times when you're using calculator, that gives you straight answer, right? Divided by 108 equals to 1 over 3. So you can always use your calculators to do these calculations. Okay, so we know what R is. Now to find the sum of terms, we should know what A is also, right? So to find A, what can we do? We can use the seventh term or the eighth term to find the answer. So we'll use the seventh term. So we know the formula is T of N equals to A times R to the power of N minus 1. So for T7, the seventh term will be equals to A times R is 1 over 3, right? So we'll say 1 over 3 to the power of 7 minus 1. And seventh term is 108, so we know that, right? So, so we'll write this equals to 108. So what we have here is that uh, A times 1 over 3 to the power of 6 is 108 and so A can be written as 108 uh, divided by this term or you can say times 3 to the power of 6. Is that okay? So let's find this 108 times 3 to the power of 6 equals to 78732. So this is 78732. So we get the first term also. Now, let us find the sum. Sum of n terms is equal to, substituting these values in the formula, A is uh, 78732. We write 78732. That is the value of A times 1 minus R is 1 over 3. 1 over 3 to the power of n we need to find what this n is divided by 1 minus 1 over 3 what are we given we are given the sum so let me rewrite this with the value of sum as uh, 118080 right that is the sum given to us now as you can see in this equation n is the only variable which we need to calculate. So let's figure that out. So let me use this part of the page now to further calculate the answer. So let me squeeze in one more statement here. I think I'll need more space. So I'm writing 11808. That is the total sum. I mean 118080. I'm sorry, zero. Okay. Is equal to 78732 and uh, this part 1 minus 1 over 3 
is 2 over 3 right is 2 over 3 so so we'll write this as okay so 1 minus let me write 1 over 3 to the power of n and then since it is okay let me write divide by 2 over 3 okay well I thought I'll do it in multiplication okay doesn't matter so we'll keep it as such and now moving to the right side since we want this term uh, what we can do is we can cross multiply right so we have 118080 divided by 78732 well multiply by 2 over 3 correct multiply by 2 over 3 because this is in the denominator so we are multiplying by this number right so so multiplied by 2 over 3 is equal to 1 minus 1 over 3 to the power of n okay bracket close either way okay since we took it to this side there was no need of bracket anyway so let's find what is there on the left side right so the left side number is 118080 080 divided by 78732 and we'll times it with 2 and divide by 3 so that number is uh, 6560 divided by 6561 equals to 1 minus 1 over 3 to the power of n so we'll rearrange say 1 over 3 to the power of n equals to 1 minus 656 six, I mean 60 six divided by 6561 six, right so that's what we get which is 6560 uh, six, that is 1 right 6561 six, that is 1 over 6561 six, correct so that is what we get as 1 over 3 to the power of n now how do you find n here we can take log both sides correct so let's take log so if i take log i get n log of 1 over 3 equals to log of 1 over 6561 and so we get the value of n as ratio of log of 1 over 6561 divided by log of 1 over 3 is that okay so let's find log of ratio that should give us the value of n so we have log within brackets 1 divided by 6561 equals 2 divided by log of 1 divided by 3 equals to 8 so we get the answer n equals to Eight, right so that's the answer find the number of terms whose sum is that much so the answer is the number of terms is n equals to 8 right so that is how you can actually solve this question the calculation here is very critical right so you should know how to use log to find the solution at this stage or what you can do is since we have that number you can do kind of trial and error 1 over 3 you can say 1 over 3 to the power of what is this that means 3 to the power of what is 6561 right so you could do that and then also you could get the answer so if you try an error so we say 3 to the power of let's say you try 7 right so you don't get that number but if you try 8 you do get 6561 and so you could write this as 1 over 3 to the power of 8 and then comparing you could write n equals to 8 right so that is my suggestion for those who do not know how to use log right so if you don't know how to use log that is a method you could adopt and solve this i am anil kumar and i hope that helps thank you and all the best